What's up everyone? Welcome back to Bugs' DCS Cruise. For this one, I'm going to show you guys the quick ground school kind of thing, how to install another mod into DCS, and that's going to be the Cubanace Simulations Su-57 Felon. I am part of his Discord server, and I've noticed quite a few people have a hard time getting the mod installed and working properly, so hopefully this video will help you guys with that and get it working the right way. It's pretty basic, pretty simple. It is a save games mod, it is a freeware mod, and it is standalone. The older versions were not. They did rely on, I believe it was the Su-25 or the Su-27, I'm not too sure, but it was reliant on one of the FC-3 airplanes. The new one is not. So that's what I'm going to show you guys where to find it, how to download it, and where and how to install it. Then we'll jump into DCS and I'll show you that it actually works and you guys can have a good time with it. So if you guys, first thing you have to do is I will leave a link in the video description is we're gonna jump over to the Cubanace Simulations Discord server. And once you guys come in, you get prompted with the rules, read them, accept them, respect them, and follow them. You won't have any issues. And then once you do that, you're going to come down to this section right here, Mod Su-57 Felon. And then all the way down here, Mod Downloads, click that, and then this baby right here, 467. This is the most recent build for it, so let's click that, Visit, yes. Okay. So it's telling us the preview problem, that's okay. Just download, there we go, download, and then once she finishes up, you're going to have the zip file in your downloads folder. So it shouldn't take too long. It can take a couple of minutes, but nothing too, too crazy. But once we get the A-OK -okay from over here and here, then we should be pretty well set off. Like I said, it can take a minute or two sometimes. OK, there we go. We're all set. So we can minimize out of here. Let's minimize Discord. All right, now let's open up our downloads folder. There she is. Extract. And then wherever you guys put your mods is where you're going to put this folder. So I'm just going to drag this to my desktop for now. We can get rid of that. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, so here's our extracted folder. You open that, you met with this, double click that, and you met with this. These are the, all the associated files for the Su-57. This is the folder right here we're gonna need to cut and paste or copy and paste. So if you guys don't use a mod manager like OVGME, highly recommend checking it out. It makes life a lot easier, but it is not recommended or not necessary, I should say, to make it work. I highly recommend it. It just makes life easier, but it's not needed. So let's open up. The next step is let's go into this PC. So wherever you guys have DCS installed, for me, it's my C drive. Let's go to users. Whatever you guys have your computer named, and then come down to your saved games. And then wherever you guys put your mods in for DCS. So I use open beta. You guys could be very much the same. Now this is where some of the questions start coming into place. 
there should be a folder here named mods. If you do not have one, create it. It's not going to hurt anything. It's perfectly fine. So just as you see that, capital M, then you open that folder up, and then you're going to have to add the second one, aircraft. Just like you see with a capital A. And once you open that, this is where all of your mods are going to go. So we're going to take not the first one. So as you guys saw, you have the folder that you extracted. We open that. We're going to have the second one. If you guys just put the first one in, it's not going to work. It does. It's not going to know what you're trying to do with it. So this is the folder right here. So if you double click this, you see all these, just go back one, copy this folder, and paste that into your aircraft folder under your save games mods section. That's the directory where it needs to go in order for it to work the proper way. So once you have that put in, let's launch DCS. Let's give it a second, let it do its thing. And I am going to put a quick little disclaimer about the Su-57 mod in this video. It can be a little temperamental when it wants to be. It's known, the developer knows it, his support staff knows it, he is working on it. It can cause the sim to crash. Yes, I've had it happen numerous times. It is perfectly normal. It's more of an annoyance and an inconvenience than anything else. It's fully air-to-air -air capable, air-to-ground capable, full fidelity, standalone, and freeware. It does work. So things are being updated and changed as time goes on. So just have a little bit of patience with that. They do have a section on the Discord server for any bugs that you find with the mod. So instead of trashing it like other people would do with certain things that don't really work the way they expect, drop a comment in the bug report section of his server, and he will check it out, and he will help you out and work with you to see exactly what's going on with it. So now that we're in DCS, let's jump over to down here right quick. You scroll through all your mods down below. You give it a couple of clicks, depending on how much you have installed. And you should be able to see this guy right here, the Su-57 4.6. This is the most updated version of it. We should be good to go. So let's just jump into our mission editor really quick. Let's open a mission. There's our fam flight. There's our Su-57. Let's just let it load, populate really quick. And here we go. So if you go out to your different aircraft in here, you can see she's in yellow. That's good. That means she's installed the right way. She's going to work. Here you go. There are your textures. They're there. And like I said, you can have air to air, air to ground. You got rockets on this thing. There's so much that this thing can do. It is an amazing mod that we even have the thing. So let's just click fly, fly mission really quick, jump into it. Here we go. You get the nice little background, which is cool. And then once she loads in, there we go. Why? Now we're sitting in the cockpit of the Su-57, guys. Like I said, it is 
full fidelity it is a clickable cockpit so you can see there's our switches there let's jump to the outside really quick you see we got full skins everything looks good and this is fully thrust vectored which is awesome once you get a handle of how it works it's really cool so I'm just gonna move the controls a little bit you can see the nozzles are moving around on us so there's our thrust vectoring capability right there like I said you cannot complain about it for what it is she looks awesome she flies awesome you guys have seen me do a couple of things with it on the channel I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot more with it coming soon but I really hope you guys found this video helpful if you have any questions please leave a comment jump into either Cubanace's discord or mine somebody will definitely help you guys out links to the Su-57 and Cubanace's discord will be in the video description again thank you guys so much for watching please like comment subscribe for more and until the next sortie strap in arm up the seat and keep flying <laughs>